Good evening mga kalaro and welcome to the Council of Titos, the show on the Larula Rulang channel where the Sportitos talk about a different kind of game, the reality TV game show and social experiment that has run for over two decades, Survivor. I'm Chief Bisdak Joel Parkon and with me as always is Vice Chief Bisdak Jao Atienza. What's up Jao? How are you doing? Oh man, I'm in Manila right now so I don't know, I guess, I guess we are two Bisdaks in the big city. Yeah, two Bisdaks in the big city. And actually, we we're uh, sort of like in the same city, and <laughs> exactly in the same city right now. Exactly, Just like we're in different spaces. All right, we're in the same barangay. We're in the same barangay. Yeah. Uh, if I was thrown hard enough that way, I'd be able to like get it to you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Well, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, maybe before you before you head back to the the fatherland or the motherland, uh, we we should uh, try and meet up, you know, and and. And do something, right? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. All right. For for this episode of the Council of Titos, we are going to give our thoughts about episode nine of Survivor season forty-two, entitled "Game of Chicken." The council is going to give their highlights and lowlights for the episode, as well as their thoughts and predictions for the upcoming episodes. And uh, I, I guess I, I, I wanna, I wanna start this off with my first high, which actually I think is the most memorable thing that happened with this episode right uh I, I i really think that this episode was a very it was a very powerful episode uh in my recollection aside from last season's uh, attempt at, at coming up with a with a with an alliance of african-american of black uh, uh black survivors this was the first time i i, I may be remembering it wrong that the race has been front and center in, in the conversation right uh, that and and that for me that that circumstance that conversation that happened in the tribal of the second group because because the 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 tribe uh, kula kula was 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 split into two as you did uh, predict last uh, last episode the, they were split into two for the for the immunity slash reward challenge and yeah, for, for uh, uh, the second group, which had both Dre and Marianne, uh, saw Chanel, who was the, who was the first, uh, first uh, castaway on the jury, and then uh, Roxroy, who was a surprise vote right, for them, especially for them, since they didn't know what happened on, on, on the other, in the other group. Right? So, so yes, them seeing that uh, was really led towards this episode for me being a very powerful episode uh and yeah because because the 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 the, the discussion on on race and uh came up and and how and and, and the circumstances that they f- saw themselves in so yeah what are your thoughts on, on what happened well I, I really can't um i really can't speak intelligently on it because like you know i'm, I'm not an american Mm-hmm. And I am not a minority in like this country that is just so full of ethnic <laughs> Filipinos. Yeah. You know? So like I really, I really can't speak to the experience uh, that uh, an ethnic minority or that that a minority group um, has in the United States. But um, from from the experiences that I hear from um, like people that I know there, uh, it is pretty bad. <laughs> You know, mm. and it's it's um it is how do we put this? This is uh parang like real life, like bleeding into survival, yeah. which is um which is a far cry from what I originally sort of thought Survivor was like twenty years ago. Um yeah, you know, I was watching it 20 years ago. I was thinking this is more Bear Grylls than it is like a Big Brother, you know, mm. um, where like the outside world comes in, where, you know, it, it's more of like a survival show than it is. Um, it's just more of a surviving the elements show than it is a, um, a, a social game, right? Like I was, I was, uh, I was Roxroy, basically, <laughs> you know, um, and uh, seeing, um, 41 and now 42 uh, seeing like real life quote unquote real life like bleed into the show is something that I'm 
quite liking um, because difficult conversations to have uh, are easier when they're framed in something like a TV show, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. like um, it's, it's, it's difficult to talk about big things in life without some sort of framing device and survivors sort of using this platform or the survivors using this platform as a way to kind of um, bring that conversation out there is uh, is like like you said a very powerful thing, uh, and I, I suppose that's my thought on it. No? Like I, I really can't speak to their experience very much, yeah. but um, the 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 show as a platform is um, it's refreshing in a way. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I reality think... shows. Being it's being reality, yeah, being real, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. It it, it it really goes to show, like uh, especially what what for me for me what what struck me uh, was uh, like you know, we're the same we we're not, we're, we, we we're not Americans we're not really minorities here in the Philippines, uh, but yeah, it I guess I appreciated what happened because it gave us a uh, a look into into into. American society, right? Uh, and, and really, for me, I've, I've always held that idea that, that Survivor, especially in recent years, it's become a microcosm of, of American society. Uh, and uh, what struck me as well was like what, especially when Marianne said like uh, all of the things, when, when she mentioned about how, how yes, while all of them have uh, a one in 18 chance of, of getting the million, but whatever burdens or whatever privileges everyone has just makes it smaller for some of them, right? And, and that for me is an educational moment for me, right? Because it, 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 uh, it complements whatever, whatever little I've learned about, the, uh, about the society in, in America and, and, the, and the disadvantage that, that the African-American community there is experiencing. It's, it, it and yeah, you're right. The 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 fact that Survivor has given uh, 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 castaways like Drea and Marianne a platform to be able to bring this out there, right? That was that was very that was very for me that was very good. That was a very good thing for for TV. Uh, I think it it, it was a, a good thing for 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 people like us who, are, who don't live there. Uh, because because we we get to see all of that, right? Uh, and even more than that, the, the 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 fact that 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 Drea and Marianne uh, turned in their idols, for me that was a that was a powerful moment. Although yes, they they played their idols because they didn't want it to seem or they didn't they didn't want it to get perceived as if they weren't gonna get voted out because race came up. Right, they wanted yeah. to play the game the right way. Right, uh, it just so happens that that was the central topic of that of the of the tribal. Right, so yeah, it, for me, this episode. After, if I yeah, I, I said that last week was a little bit more of a filler episode. <laughs> this week, it's starting to ramp up the intensity, uh, and I and I and I really like it. And and uh, you always say that that. The uh, uh, next episode on Survivor is like a red herring, but it seems as if they're really ramping up the, the intensity of the of the episodes leading up to uh, day twenty six because they've got like how many days left? Ten, nine days left, right? Something like that. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it, it's 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 really yeah. But but that thing that was kudos kudos to Dre and Marianne for speaking up yeah. for. Or, yeah, uh, saying what they need to say, or wanting to be heard, and kudos to to the other to, uh, to the other uh, people in in that group, right? At, at at the start, Jonathan didn't quite understand. Uh, <laughs> That's my low. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, he didn't quite understand, but in the end, I think that he 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 got it. Just goes to show you uh, the the kind of person Jonathan really is, but. Uh, more than that, uh, even even Drea and, and Lindsay, them also, uh, while, yeah, Lindsay, for example, she said that she really can't quite 
uh, speak. To, uh, she she doesn't experience it the way that that Dre and Marianne experience it. But she hears them. She she heard them. If if anything, I can actually say that Lindsay was really uh, talking like a talking like a, a therapist more than more than Tori, right? <laughs> but again but uh i don't know how how sincere tori was because actually when when she when she got into tribal and she saw rock story the person that she has been feuding with for <laughs> since day one uh and and she had that little like you know that that frown on her face i don't know how how, how sincere that was i hope it was uh because it seems as, as if She's gotten friendlier with Rockstroy over the past couple of episodes. Uh, yeah, and it goes to show that, that these people, when you, when you put them together, uh, things change. Like, you know, things change, uh, dynamics change, social structures change. Uh, and yeah, again, kudos to Dre and Marianne for, for speaking up and getting heard. Right? So, yeah. Uh, well, that, that was my that was my first tie, dude. That was my first tie. Um, mm-hmm. That Marianne and uh, Drea pulled off like one of the most badass moves that you know I've I've seen in the Survivor that I've watched. Yeah, right. Like, like you know, standing Marianne up at the same time. Mar- yeah, Marianne more than Drea, by the way, mm. because Drea still has her like. All the of her other, bag of tricks, other you know? <laughs> <laughs> Like, if any of the idols go back. Uh, get if, if any idols or advantages go back into circulation, Drea is probably gonna find them. But mm-hmm. like you know, my my uh, my my respect for Marianne just went through the roof this episode because mm-hmm. like my God, that was such a that was such a badass move. Like, all right, we're both gonna play our idols. Yeah, let's do this. Like, uh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Know, I, the, same. The same reaction and for me. All that... of that. Uh, and and I think kudos also to to production for for being able to I think deliver that point of the story very powerfully. Uh, uh, the second time I watched the episode, I I was really paying attention to okay how how were how was CBS framing it uh, so that they can really swell up to the point because I I re- I already felt. I, I got I was touched when, when I was moved when I when it was the first time I saw Marianne and Drea stand up to like give their yeah. idol. And then up for the second for my second viewing, I really tried to look at it and you could really see how they how they suddenly muted the the background, uh, the background music, they, the, the choice of music that they that they had and how it was really swelling up to that point. So you really know that that was they wanted people to notice that point and kudos also to production really focusing on that making sure that that gets told making sure that people feel that that moment for for drea and marianne yeah right what are your other eyes oh well speaking of 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 of, of people getting heard and people people talking we got a lindsay confessional (laughs) we got a lindsay confessional all right uh, uh, for, for, a, for a hot second there, I thought that this was actually the episode where she was going to get purpled out because she's been the purple for the entire season so far. Um, yeah. uh, and then all of a sudden she gets a confessional. I thought that we we're going to get, because it was, and then, and then we get into that situation on Tribal. It was either going to be Tori or her. And uh, the fact that Tori was sort of the, the villain so far of the story. I thought that they were going to continue with Tori, so I thought, okay, oh, oh no, this yeah. this is Lindsay's last episode, uh, and the fact that she was like the <laughs> the the sympathetic uh, sympathetic uh, person, I thought that something was going to happen. Sorry, I thought that this was actually when the shot in the dark was going to pull through, right? And then all of a sudden, yeah. Lindsay goes home. Uh, so yeah, I, 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 I'm happy that we that we're we're seeing a, a Lindsay confessional. I. I Hopefully we get we get the we get her backstory soon. Uh, yes, I, I really like that. Uh, I, I really like uh, I really like what that 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 she that's a high for me. It's a it's a small high, but it's a high, right? <laughs> it's a high nonetheless. <laughs> yeah, it's a high nonetheless, right? So, it's yeah. really good. No, we're 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 getting to see like more of Lindsay. 
I, I get the feeling that it's going to, um, I, I get the feeling that we're going to uh, sort of, this is kind of moving forward also, but I get the feeling we're going to zero in on um, Jonathan and Marianne, especially mm-hmm. like after production focused on Jonathan's flubs this episode. Mm-hmm. And, um, and it's going to center around that friction between them. And how it affects Omer and uh, and, Lindsay. and Lindsay, right? Because like they were, you know, the 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 solid four, really. Yeah. And yeah. so you know they kind of have to get uh, they they kind of have to get more Lindsay content if they're gonna tell um, if they're gonna tell that story. Yeah. So, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Any other highs for you? Um, this is both a high and a low. Mm-hmm. Right, but we we finally got strategic content from Roxroy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like, like prior to this, uh, prior to this, Roxroy was playing like Naked and Afraid or whatever <laughs> that reality show is, you know, where yeah. like they have a cell phone and they like record themselves or whatever. So like, um, Roxroy actually started playing Survivor, and um, it was kind of his, his strategic game was kind of as bad as he said it was going to be you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like i got no social game and it was like okay survivor show don't tell and like, they showed us <laughs> they show. <laughs> but you know it's, it's it's nice to it's nice um in, in in sort of the same way that we get Lindsay content it's nice to get um, it's nice to get Rock's Royal like strategic content mm-hmm. because like that was something that was sort of missing at least from um, from the portrayal of Rock's Roy. Mm. Uh, mm. And right so before he got voted out, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it, it, uh, yeah, it, it just so just, happens uh, that that was the reason why you got voted out as well, right? <laughs> exactly. uh, so it's like. Okay, um, very, very good, very good storytelling. You know, it's like, all right, Roxroy is getting booted out, and here's why. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, it's like, okay, we need to make sure that people see the actual reason, right? Uh, so yeah, so, so that's why. <laughs> so yeah, at least he tried. At least he tried, you know. Uh, yeah. And I'm sure that it came from some realization. But yeah, uh, the guys, or at, at, at the very, I think that aside from it, aside from him wanting a, an, an all guys alliance, he was really looking out for him, Mike, and Jonathan, right? Because yeah. if you remember, there was actually that other scene where he was actually just—it was just the three of them—and that was the start of the of the conversation for the for the guys alliance. Yeah. Although the post, one of the one of his um, exit interviews. Mm. Um, he said, and you know, once again, uh, these sort of exit interviews are unreliable narrators. But he mentions something along the lines of the thing that's uh, that that Survivor production left out was um, what he was pushing for was right. We need to have an all guys alliance, but bring Andrea. Oh. Right, so that 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 would have also been very interesting, like moving forward. But you know, it probably shook up the status quo um, too much for sort of the rest of uh, for for the rest of the survivors. So you know, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, mm, that's interesting. Uh, why would? Because why would why would he want to bring in he want, he would want to bring in Drea maybe ah because because it was isn't isn't it like really Drea and and Rock, sorry, who were like the got each other's yeah. backs from from Ika mm, yeah okay. in the no, Ika. So, was, so he was really trying to bring her in mm. I don't know if that would have worked though do you think that that would have worked <laughs> no <laughs> right that would have worked. I mean, Drea would have seen it already. Like, it's an all-guys alliance, and I have all the power. I can easily take them down. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, was, yeah. Yeah. That was that. That's 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 kind of off. But yeah, I can see how she, how he, how Roxway wanted that to happen. Uh, yeah. 
Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. You yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, For yeah. me, um, uh, I like that Jonathan finally proved himself as a as a, as not just a group immunity uh, challenge uh, winner, right? And so yeah, he finally got his first immunity challenge. He ended Tori's uh, short run, Tori's back-to-back uh, wins in the immunity challenge. I, uh, and yeah, if, if you really think about it, that, that that challenge was supposed to be an endurance or core immunity challenge, which would have been a dis- disadvantage for, for the bigger guys. But I think I think the fact that, that Jonathan being a beach guy, uh, that, that helped him. Because it basically was sort of like surfing. You needed to manage oh, yeah, the yeah. waves. Right. Yeah, he's a surfer. Yeah. He owns like a surf shop or something, right? Yeah, he's like a beach supply shop yeah. owner or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. If, yeah, yeah. He's he's probably familiar with dealing with waves, so that really helped him. Uh, and and we can't discount the fact that uh, the motivation of uh, the food reward probably got him really like wanting <laughs> to win it. Right? So yeah, it goes back to Jonathan wanting yeah. that. that all of those calories to maintain his 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 physique. Yeah. So so yeah, I I, I, I like that 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 he got at least one uh, immunity challenge win. Yeah. Oh, what about you? Do you have any anything else? Um, I really liked uh, the the way that Survivor production told the um the the tory rocks roy story mm-hmm. because right from the beginning those two were linked mm. like you know, right from right from day one of uh right from day one of survivor like the the producers showed us or the editors showed us that like all right so these two are going to play sort of a role in each other's um, time on the island. It sounds like I'm talking about lost. No? Now that they're, you know, gonna have, you know, this influence with uh, with each other on the island, um, and that they left on the same, uh, that they left on the same episode, the the double boot episode, was just sort of poetic in that way, and that was something that stood out to me as well. Like every mm-hmm. step of the way, they sort of showed that they were um, connected not as allies, but just like connected mm-hmm. as, you know, their stories were intertwined and their stories ended on the same night. So nice. it was like, good storytelling, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah, Survivor producers stepping up the game. I guess it, it's, it also goes back to the fact that this cast is a pretty good cast uh, yeah. because they wouldn't have been able to tell that story if the seeds for it wasn't there in the first place, right? Yeah, uh, these these castaways probably gave them that, right? So it, 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 it goes back to that. Yeah. Anything else on your on your on your list? I like that it was a double boot episode, and I like the way that they do their double boot is by breaking them up into two tribes because it creates a lot of drama. It mm. makes it so that each survivor has um, can't hide, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like. Uh, you know, they, they can't just fit into the security. Like, you know, if, if they're going with a shorter game, they always have to be playing. And uh, by by forcing the double boot and uh, groups of five, like, they were able to, uh, one, create that drama, but two, also get everybody to um, play mm. without just, you know, hanging back and sort of fading into obscurity yeah. uh, for too long. Yeah. There, you know, there's the potential for some of them to start doing that for the next, like, episode or two. Um, looking at you, Romeo. But... Uh, if he lasts the fact that, uh, more than the yeah. next episode, yeah. Uh, the, yeah, the fact that... Um, the fact that they split them up I, and then they kept it is... Uh, is is high for me. It's just the format of the show uh, this week. Mm. Yeah, and and you've always maintained that you like it. You like it when the voting pool is actually that much smaller, because yeah, it, you're right. Yeah. It creates for better drama on television. 
yeah, and, and had we not had the double boot this way, we probably wouldn't have gotten that powerful uh, second tribal, right? We most likely wouldn't have gotten that that powerful second tribal. And if you even think about it, if the if the tribals were reversed, it probably wouldn't have been as powerful either, right? I yeah. don't think that Roxroy would be the kind of person who would be able to come up with the powerful the uh, to speak up uh, that uh, in the in the way that Drea and Marianne were able to in in in, yeah. in their tribal. Yeah. So yeah. So that's 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 a that's a very good high. That's a very good high. Uh, moving forward, I, I actually really like Drea's. You know, I actually like Drea's um, in deep thought. But kind of angry faced. Yeah, yeah. Like the moment she entered tribal, she had she had a surprised look, and then she was the well at, at, in the episode, she was the first person that Jeff asked uh, asked the question to, and then she had this yeah that that look on her face that she you could see that she was she you knew that she was starting to feel the the. The, the what whatever she was feeling and then her she, her the, the the gears in her head were starting to spin even faster uh to strategize and, and adjust it was it was it's really cool I'm, I'm 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 starting to warm up to drea becoming like a big power player for i mean besides the fact that she's got all of those advantages uh the way that she carried herself, especially in this tribal, was just very good. Yeah. Very good for, for, for her. Yeah. All right. So that is it for, for our highs. Now we go to our friend uh, uh, Martin with his highs on Martin's Thoughts. Martin's Thoughts with Martin. Martin. Yeah. Well, for the high, I have no idea. Maybe high and Romeo for actually sticking together in that vote just to vote at Roxroy. Maybe. I don't know for sure. Because this episode was like that filler episode where they just need to eliminate two people. Now, like a Dragon Ball episode. So even I'm a bit confused. Okay, fine. Maybe the high would be nothing. I don't know, guys. I'm stumped. Martin's thoughts with Martin. Martin! Yeah! Okay. Wow, Martin thinks that this was the filler episode. Wow, that's 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 surprising to me. <laughs> I, I don't know. This seemed to be like one of the most um one of the most uh consequential episodes that we're going to have this season. Yeah. Like the ripples the, the ripples from this episode are going to be felt up until the end of the season. So I don't know. <laughs> um, we we shall see, Martin. We yeah, shall, we shall see. see. I think that Martin, Martin again, he's our historian. He's our subject matter expert. Uh, so he's probably thinking like in the in the context of of how things have happened in in, in previous uh, in previous seasons. Uh, what happened here probably wasn't as strong. Again, I can't quite remember everything. I go, I go. Uh, I, I my my thoughts are always. Uh, season per season, uh, sometimes uh, episode by episode. So I don't, don't really quite remember what happened uh, in, in 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 previous seasons. Martin is probably the most uh, 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 has the most knowledge of, of previous seasons. But yeah, from, from, uh, we don't quite agree with you, Martz. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll take your we'll take your thoughts. Uh, so yeah, that those that's Martin's highs. He doesn't quite have one some. <laughs> So moving on to the lows, moving on to the lows, uh, what you got? Um, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Your boy, hi, our boy, hi. Yeah, man, it's like his stock is dropping. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. That's true. And um, <laughs> yeah. High is not I'm still on the as high. Road. high. Still on the high road, though. Still on the high road. Still on the high road, but it seems that his momentum is is, is slowing down, right? Yeah, uh, he's losing all the games of chicken that that he's been having 
these past couple of like episodes, you know. So like, oh, oh hi. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't. He hasn't been. He hasn't been pushing. He hasn't been pushing really enough. I mean, well, you you can say that he pushed because the idea to vote Rockstar out actually was his, right? Uh, mm. Well, at least that's how it was being presented. Because uh, they they gave us that that moment when Hai was trying to speak up, and then Roxroy being Roxroy just butted in, and then uh, and then that's what sort of gave him the idea. No, Roxroy is not shouldn't be on on the on the tribe anymore. Uh, yeah, but but yeah, we were not really getting much from him anymore. Yeah, I I, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That, that's that's one of my uh, <laughs> that's one of my lows. Yeah, for me, uh, my one of my lows was was uh, Roxroy's attempt to start a, a, a men's alliance, right? Uh, yeah, mainly because, um, yeah, it, it, he it it really showed how how. How much his social game was lacking, uh, and we have a couple of those. Uh, I'll, I'll let you talk about the other big dude with the poor social game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, so so Roxroy, Roxroy's attempt at the at the men's alliance, um, yeah, because it, it ended up painting a target uh, on his own back, and it, it, it was his own undoing, and it was his 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 stubbornness, right, and inability yeah. to adapt uh, to the changing game, and that that. Ever since the start, that we've seen Rockstar that way, he's set in his ways. He thinks that young people are stupid. He thinks that <laughs> he has he has certain he has these certain uh, mindsets right? that 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 I think that's what uh, got them voted out in the end. Uh, yeah. yeah, it it led to a you, high. You know. But yeah, yeah. Anyway, you were saying even. Um... Like, even if it wasn't, you know, even if Survivor, um, even if his exit interview was accurate, right? And he was like, Guys Alliance plus Drea, which isn't as damning as like a straight up Guys Alliance. It was still exactly the wrong move. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, um, the, I guess the right move would have just been like maintain the status quo for now, hang back and just chill. Because if you think about it, how many uh, who who are in their like strong alliance again? Their alliance of seven now. Uh, who was it? So it's it's so you got Ross, Roy, and Drea. You got Jonathan and Lindsay and Omar. Uh, you've got Hi and Mike and Marianne, more or less. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So it's still it's still an eight. But so you still have Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. So basically, five out of the six guys were in that alliance of eight. So they still had majority, basically, in that alliance. Uh, men, <laughs> the, the men still outnumbered the women in that alliance. So there was no need for him to rock the vote. You're right. There was no need for him to rock the vote at that time. Yeah, he, 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 was, he, was, he was trying to be too galaxy brain for that moment, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, do you think that was like a, a, a big move? What do you call it? Big move like this? Big move like this. I, I, I don't know. I guess I, uh, I, I still like to think of it yeah, as fun. as a survivor saying, like, okay, Roxroy got voted out, and here's why. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, because actually he already had like his big move with the, with the whole hourglass thing. So, with the hourglass. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, the, we, we don't know. Maybe he's been like, Talking about it on the side for a long time. It's just that it's just that survivor just needed to like really justify why he got voted out this episode. That's why they're putting it out there. Right. So yeah. Uh, going over to the other big guy who doesn't quite have uh, as good a social game as he would like to think. I'll let you tell that. And because I we I know that you have that as a low. I also have that as a low. <laughs> I, I was I was um, gonna think about I was gonna talk about it in the moving forward then because like it oh. looks like looking from the looking at like the preview for next week 
um, they're setting up the fall of Jonathan. Ooh. Right? But, you know, that's, uh, I, I suppose that's sort of the law, right? Is there, if they are, um, they're, they're sort of setting up the, the fall of Jonathan. And it looks like they're framing it as a Jonathan versus Marianne thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? And sort of seeing the, seeing the Taku 4 break up is just like, this is it's it's just heartbreaking to me, you know, <laughs> because like that's a really cool like sort of family unit type thing. I I, I don't know, yeah. like, whatever whatever it is, like 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 showing their showing their pre merge, um, showing their pre merge experience and all of that. It's it's just like oh man, the fall of Jonathan, um, but like, come on, my dude. Really? <laughs> you couldn't have just you couldn't have just like kept quiet, you know. He's, he he thought of it as an opportunity to that was I think a big move itis. That was a big move itis because he hasn't really done any big moves. Uh uh he probably uh, opted because again, I, he 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 and he said it. He's afraid. He's afraid to to uh, do any big moves because he's a big guy and that'll paint the target on his back. And I don't know what changed. <laughs> I don't know what changed in the circumstances. Uh, maybe he felt that because he was the only guy, it gave him authority. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe, like you said, uh, maybe Chanel's uh, Chanel's saying that that. That the hero edit for Jonathan uh, is 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 undeserved. Maybe we're really starting to really see all of that right now. Uh, but for me, I I really think that it just shows how unstrategic the big dude is, right? Yeah. It it especially especially when Lindsay was already explaining to him how putting Mary Ann as the alternate vote was such a stupid idea right? yeah <laughs> that was like what is what does this guy have against marianne yeah yeah it's like okay well come on think about it if you wanted if you're if you're looking for that taku taku strong uh and you're putting one of your guys in danger i'm sorry why would you put one of your guys in in danger in case drea plays her immunity idol uh, and it seemed as if she was really discounting uh, Lindsay's uh, Lindsay's you know, the, the 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 things that Lindsay would have known, because I'm assuming because she, he he did mention it even in tribal that he didn't quite have as good a social relationship uh, with 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 Tori as with the others, right? So he he couldn't have known whether or not Lindsay would have would have had bet a better social standing with 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 tori or would have known tori a little bit better to know that she wouldn't tell drea right uh or or maybe the fact that Lindsay you know, probably has a better relationship with, with drea to know that drea and tori do not talk with each other uh yeah that was that was that was a that was a what, what do you call it a flub that was a big flub yeah. by the big guy He's like a he's like a Xander. Like he doesn't he doesn't have a good read on the room. Yeah, yeah. He just does. He just does his job. Uh, he just he does what's expected of him. Be the strong guy. I hope that he. I hope that he moves forward. If, 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 as you're, if as you're saying, uh, the next episode is gonna show the 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 fall of Jonathan. I hope that that's not gonna happen yet because I uh, I like I would like to see him develop. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and and, and, and yeah. Oh, no. go, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. The the the, the end of tribal. Uh, towards the end of tribal, you could see that he was still being. I mean, he's just a really nice guy, and I I guess that's why he got a little uh, taken aback when it seemed as if it was being uh, put out there that he was being racist, because he I don't. He honestly doesn't uh, think he's racist, or yeah, he is. He really isn't racist. 
right? Uh, and then he had that thing where even towards the end, he was really comforting. He was comforting Drea. Uh, yeah, he, he's just such a nice, he, you can't call him a teddy bear because he's muscle bound. But yeah, he, he's that, <laughs> right? But he's, he's that guy. He's, he's such a nice dude, nice big dude, uh, nice big dude of service. So yeah, I, I'd like to see him develop that more, become more socially aware. Uh, not like Xander, get up to get all the way to the final three, still not knowing how to engage <laughs> things. Right? <laughs> you know, with, 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 with Xander, people brought him to the end as a goat. That yeah, was, uh... most, yeah. But yeah, I, I do hope that, that, that Jonathan doesn't end up being the biggest goat because, as we've discussed for most of the season, he's like been the survivor of the week. For most weeks, right? For mo for for most yeah. of the nine weeks that we've that we've uh, been watching them, yeah. So yeah, and, and going to my last uh, low point for me, while it did give us a strong, uh, powerful moment, it was sad for me that Drea and 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 Marianne were forced quote unquote to use their idols to dispel any out of game notions that uh, the race card was played so that they wouldn't so that they wouldn't go home. Uh, in the case of Drea, that really was she made the right call because she knew that they were gunning for her. She knew that it yeah. was a big uh, a, a big possibility that they were going to blindside her. Uh, uh, so but it's sad that it got overshadowed by that 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 notion that that they had to do it because they didn't want people to think that they weren't going home because of race, right? Because yeah, Drea, that was a good strategic move. Uh, that would have been the right time to use it because it was, there was just five of them. It was the right time to to take her out. Uh, yeah, and, and and Marianne, it, it's sad also because she was the one who voiced it out. I'm, I'm going to use this because I don't want people to to think that uh, that I got by because because of race. So yeah, for, for me that was that was pretty sad. But again, it, it led to it, it gave us a very good high, that that powerful moment, that that standing up together uh, moment. And that was just wow. That that really moved me. That really moved me. Any other, I, yeah. I, I suppose I suppose the low there is um, something that a lot of the African American survivors um, talk about is that something that white people don't understand is that they get to that the white people get to go on to Survivor just to play Survivor, mm -hmm. and you know it's it's like the minorities. Um, or the people of color don't have that luxury of going to Survivor just to play the game of Survivor. And it's it's kind of a, I, I guess, if I understand what you're saying correctly, it's this is a low that we share in that um, they had to play the idol because they couldn't play the game as the game. Because yeah. like, to me, that's kind of a low. Mm. But that, 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 is, that is quite yeah, the low to, for... To, to prolong know, the their lives in the game. Yeah, they, they needed yeah. to play it. And they needed, they, needed, uh, they needed also to dispel the, 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 again, like what I said, the notion from people watching at home, uh, some of them might not, have, might not be able to interpret uh, correctly what they are watching. And they're just going to say, uh, oh, they just they just they, they didn't get voted out because they started talking about they, race yeah. they guilted the yeah. other tribe mates into letting them through right because it's it's yeah. Yeah. it's unfortunate that's, that, uh, yeah. that's the sad that, that that's the sad thing they they don't have the luxury of just playing purely strategically yeah yeah they have to take into account all of these things outside of the game yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so that's that's quite the uh, no. That's quite the low. Yeah. All right. So uh, in the meantime, let us go back to our friend Martin on Martin's thoughts. 
Thoughts. Martin's Thoughts with Martin. Martin. Yeah. But for the lows, dear God. Wow, Jonathan, from most of the time I gave him my highs, I think he's getting a, you know, a, a weird vibe here. Or, or we're just seeing how bad he is strategically. Like, he's so good in the physical game, but he's trying to overwork himself to make it look like he's a good social game guy when he's not. I don't know. Uh, also, Rockstroy, like, he was trying to do a, uh, hey, we're six guys here and there's four women. And he said that on high. Really, Rockstroy? See, that's why you got voted out today. I mean, this episode. Martin's Thoughts with Martin. Martin. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, Martin uh, zeroing in on the, the, the same two guys that we zeroed in on, Jonathan and Roxroy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that... It, it was obvious that that, that that would have been the the lows for this week right yeah yeah um moving okay. forward <laughs> moving forward did, did you were you able to remember your other low no 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 nah. <laughs> okay moving forward um okay so let us go to your to your thoughts for the next uh Thoughts for the next episode. Jonathan Hilton. Ooh, we're gonna we're gonna see a, is, a big Jonathan Hilton. Mm. Yeah, this is a this is a Jonathan Jonathan Hilton. We lost the villain of the season, so we need a oh, new so villain. we need a new one. Oh, hmm. that's true. That's and true. and um and because uh because Bodrea and uh, Marianne did this week was just so badass. Like, there, there, there's no way that we're going to see them as villains. Mm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's, or at least that's that's uh, that's my prediction. Mm -hmm. And um, if we if we frame them as heroes, and we're framing um, the the long predicted talk of uh, fall of Taku Four as um, being friction between uh, Marianne and Jonathan with Omer and Lindsay stuck in the middle. Jonathan is going to have to be the bad guy in that. So mm. this is the Jonathan heel turn. Ooh. Do you think that in, in the mid credit scene, he's the he that, that, that Drea and who was it, Lindsay, uh, were referring to? Because the, there was that, that the, that one sentence, where, that one line where, where Dre was like, he is playing, uh, and it was a bleeped out word, game. He has to go. Do you think that he was that he? Or was it, is it Ty or Romeo? Because I, I, I don't think that Mike is that strategic. But it's, yeah, yeah. And Omar has been maintaining very good uh social ties with everyone well that could be it could be it could also be omer right because like um because omer is playing that uh that playing that game where he's like friends with everybody yeah which you know could be interpreted as something that is bleep worthy mm. <laughs> you know? yeah Playing a like, very like bleak creating a, game, yeah, yeah, like like creating a house of cards that you know the moment one of them talks to the other, uh, mm -hmm. like what happened with your girl Swati, like yeah. it all just comes tumbling down. But yeah, possibly you know could be Jonathan's game playing very messy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's true, that's true. Oh, I just I just wanted to go back to like. Because back uh, a couple of episodes ago, uh, you did mention that one of your predictions is that Marianne is going to come up with a very emotional, uh, a very emotional move, and I think that we've gotten that. <laughs> I think that this episode, this was that emotional move. I, I don't think it it necessarily shook the core of, of the Taku Four. Uh, do you think that she's still going to do something else uh, emotionally that's going to really affect? the the like in effect break up the taku four or do you think that the the the, the move is gonna come from jonathan 
I think I think the move is going to come from Jonathan. Ooh. I really, yeah, I really do think the move is going to come from Jonathan, or at least that's what they're sort of setting up. Mm-hmm. Um, even in some of the next times, right? There, you know, and and um, even when um, even when he seems to be like, like it, it's his. He, he might have. Um, he might have legitimate reasons to uh, want to vote Marianne out, flush the idol, whatever. Mm-hmm. But um, the idol's out. Yeah, but like it's it, it's this this is his his um his not wanting Marianne to be or his 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 putting Marianne on the outs mm. um doesn't seem to be something that is being portrayed as justified. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Which is what's leading me to think that he's going to be the one that breaks up the group. I see. I see. You know, yeah. because even if Marianne made an emotional move tonight, which it was, um, it was still shown to also be strategically correct. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Even though it was one of those that could have gone either way, sorts of things, but it was still kind of portrayed as strategically correct. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's which right. is why, you know, which is why I'm predicting a, a, a Jonathan is going to come from there, and it's going to be a Jonathan Hill turn. Mm. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I know that. Yeah, aside from aside from us, I and mean, even Martin has been rooting for Jonathan, and I'm I'm sure that Jonathan has a lot of fans. All across the world, all of the all of the people who've been watching Survivor have been rooting for him. Uh, probably not as many after this episode, uh, but yeah, uh, a Jonathan heel third might might be happen. I, I can see how can that how that can happen. I can see how that can happen. Uh, let's see what 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 would be my prediction. Uh, I actually didn't put down any. Uh, yeah, I, I I don't quite. I'm. I actually don't quite know where, where what's gonna happen next. Uh, I do know that it's exciting. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm excited to watch the next episode. Uh, after this very powerful episode, I want to see what's gonna happen next. Uh, but I don't quite know. I don't quite quite know what to expect. <laughs> well, there's gonna be a really big storm apparently. Like one of the one of the next times on had like mm. a, one of the next time ons had a big storm. It's like oh. It's like being in the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, how like we wish they come back. To... Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. Next, I don't see what's gonna happen next because we we've already lost like the villain of the show. Tori's out. Uh, I don't know. Is is Lindsay on the way out because she's been purple the entire time? Uh, I. Th- Maybe if anything, that's this is final. How many are left? Uh, there's fine. They're they're down to eight or no? Sorry, eight, right? Are they down to? Eight? They're down to eight, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I think that Drea is gonna ramp up her gameplay because she did say how how she had to adjust and go back to square one, go back to the drawing board. So I think that she's gonna ramp up her gameplay. She's gonna start. Uh, she's gonna reassess all of the, all of the, uh, all of the uh, all of the bonds that she's made because her number one, Roxra, just got voted out, and she's coming from this emotional tribal. Uh, yeah, it, it's exciting for me. It's exciting for me to see what's gonna happen next. Uh, yeah, uh, it, we've got a lot of really good players in in Omar, in in Drea, in, well even Hai. I think I hope that Hai gets a resurgence. I hope that Hai gets a resurgence. Uh, his his analytical skills come back. Uh, and yeah, we've got all of these guys. Hopefully, we get we get a lot of gameplay coming up. Romeo is going to be the season. Uh, it's like they're starting to portray Romeo as being like the 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 goat of the season or like a zero vote finalist. Mm, yeah, yeah. It seems like it. It seems like 
Yeah, they're not going to vote him out ever because they know that he's been causing chaos on camp. So bringing him to bringing him to the final, everyone's going to think that he's been he's been too chaotic, right? Because in 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 essence, Marianne also is sort of all all, all over, but she's too adorable to everyone. I don't think that she, <laughs> yeah they they they'd want to bring her to. The final tribal and she's very she talks a lot i'm sure that she one way or another she's gonna have like she's gonna come up with a very good argument but yeah so she's you know she she's a if, if you're going with D D alignment she's like um she's like chaotic good and romeo's like mm. the chaotic evil uh, chaotic evil yeah so. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are again with our D uh, alignment uh talk yeah, but that's, that's what that's... we should do next season. For next season, we should have like oh, a D&D yeah, alignment. Oh, yeah, let's do track. that. Let's do that. <laughs> let's do that. I would love to do that. I would love to do that. Uh, so, yeah, any other thoughts for the upcoming episodes? I look forward as well to see the, the downfall of Omar. Because downfall like... of Omar. Wow. As in downfall, as in yeah. him getting voted out? Yeah. Like I'm, I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking for not necessarily the next episode, right? Because um, the the way it seems like they're building him up, uh, it's it's like it, it isn't it isn't something that is uh, standard for what we would see on TV, where you see somebody just dominate all the way through mm-hmm. as sort of the winner, mm. right? Like that that only happens if he's like a like a like a decoy winner or something. Mm-hmm. So his case hasn't been like built up properly, in 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 a, in, in, in a way. It's sort of his narrative. Yeah, no. it's, it's, it's like if you look at the if you look at the editing, they're editing him as a winner. Hmm. Yeah, because he's, he's like, like the strategic. He's got he's social. Yeah. Yeah. So like you know, I'm I'm starting to think that the I'm starting to think that the animal metaphor in that first episode was really meant to tie him to, to parallel Erica. him with, with, with Erica. Yeah, so you know. Mm. <laughs> and you as think much as, as much as I like winner. Omar, I think he's a decoy winner. Mm. Wow. Wow. Okay. Because he's he's doing too well. He's doing too well for I don't know, he's doing too well to be a hero. Mm-hmm. He's doing mm-hmm. too well to be the winner. Well, we will so, see. like, right now, right now, I'm thinking that, that, uh, that Lindsay has a great shot at winning. <laughs> Lindsay, wow, from purple taking to gold. Wow. Yeah, taking into consideration the way they edited Erica last season. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and how she's like sort of been in the middle of everything the whole time and is now coming into her own. So that mm-hmm. might be a thing. It might be like a Drea versus. Um, a Dre versus Lindsay thing, like the person with all the advantages and the one that doesn't. I don't know. Ooh. That'd be a cool story. That'd be a cool story. That actually would be a cool story, unless like they, they go with Dre all the way. I mean, she's the one who's been quote unquote dominating in the fact that she's gotten all of the all all kinds of advantages, right? Yeah. Are we are we gonna have like an advantage get in? Oh. Do you think? Uh, hmm. We were we were down close tonight. Yeah, we were down. We were we were close tonight. It's just that. It's just that. Or a couple of nights ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I'm I. Mm, how would that happen? I, I'm I I I kind of don't want to because it's been played that that's that's already came up come up or in, in in previous seasons. But I do hope that we see. I do hope. Number one, I hope that 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 Drea uh, uh, goes long in the game, so that she can come up with badass move after badass move with all of the advantages that she's like come up with, like you know, come up with a way to drop high or or Lindsay, so that she gets uh, she gets one person down, and then the the extra vote becomes a steal a vote, and then. Uses comes with another badass move to drop the next one down so that she has two immunity, she has another immunity idol, and then 
does uh, gets uh, gets the immunity idol of Mike, something like that. Uh, you know, to get her all the because for me that's that's that would be the way that she can pave her way to getting into the final and winning the entire thing. Right. Yeah, like uh, the the person with all the advantages. Is, is, is that the case? Like the person. Um, how how does the jury usually feel about a person that has all of the advantages making it to the end? Do they look at the resume with more scrutiny, or um, um, again, I'm not the historian. <laughs> Martin would know that. Um, but what I do remember is that if you're able to come up with badass moves, like big moves, using your advan if you use your advantages properly, and are able to take out. The, the top of mind, the person I saw really being able to do it was Ben, uh, the, 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 the soldier, uh, former soldier uh, and cowboy. He was the one with the, with the cowboy hat because he came from the bottom uh, and in the merge. He came from the bottom, but he kept on finding, I think it, there weren't any other kinds of advantages yet. So what he, uh, he just kept on finding hidden immunity idols, and he kept on using them properly. Uh, he found a way to, 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 to make sure that the effect of him using them was, was strong and significant. That way, to, in the end, because they saw that, okay, he's from the bottom, and then he used the, the hidden immunity idols really well, uh, because he didn't have them all the time, because he also would win the, like the, like the individual immunity necklace, right. yeah. So he was he really dominated because I think that's one way for them to win. If you if you show that you really dominated the entire competition, especially here where we're, where we're down to the final eight, if you really show that, so I I think if Drea wins a couple of individual immunity, uh, that will stock up her her resume really well. Yeah. Again, I'm studying this from a, uh, with a, with, from the lens of a person who doesn't quite remember everything that happened in <laughs> in previous seasons. Much more, yeah, uh, from like seasons from like ten years ago, twenty years ago. Yeah. So, yeah. so as this, uh, like, I'm, I'm, right after this episode drops, I'm going to be expecting a message from Martin, like in our group chat. Like, hey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this actually happened. Uh, this is how it actually happened. So yeah, Martin. More, uh, more than that, Martin. I hope that you can drop a comment. And if anyone else knows of any instance, how do how do juries uh, uh, look at uh, the resumes of these people with all of the advantages? Uh, drop a comment. Uh, let us know uh, so that uh, uh, Jao and I can be educated and I can be reminded of what happened in previous seasons. I've watched all of these seasons, but I don't remember them. I just enjoy them as they happen. Okay. Uh, let us go back to Martin for his thoughts for the next episode. Martin's thoughts with Martin. Martin. Yeah. Man. Next episode. Pretty hard because Tori's gone, so I don't know who would be voted out. Maybe Romeo or High, which sucks because I want High to be, you know, on the final three or final two, whatever. But I think it's either or if they're too, one of them's too schemy. And that's it for me, guys. Um... Martin's thoughts with Martin. Martin. Yeah. Okay, Martin has high or Romeo. I was thinking that as well. Like, mm. you know, if it was like if if Joel was going to ask me who I think was the next boot, it's either high or Romeo. <laughs> mm, so yeah, so that's that's your that's your because we we're at that part of the uh, that that part of the episode. So you you think that either of them is the next boot? Yeah, feels like it. Mm. It's me. You know, it's sort of being pushed into the background more and more so you know. yeah i think that that like the the stronger players or known the, the more quote unquote important players are really getting hyped up right now you've got your 
you've got Rhea, you've got Jonathan, you've got uh, Marianne to some extent, and then Lindsay is starting to get uh, some some screen time. Uh, who else? So yeah, so even Mike is starting to go down, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's Mike High and uh, Mike High and Romeo who aren't getting as 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 much screen time at least for this episode. Omar, Omar is kind of still up there, right? So yeah, so it, it's 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 really going up with the the different stocks. Yeah. So yeah, for me, hmm, for me, yeah, I I I'm gonna go safe and think and say that it's gonna be Omar. I'm sorry, not Omar. Uh, Romeo. It's gonna be Romeo. They're gonna go, unless unless uh, uh, unless they think the same way that you you mentioned that, that they're gonna bring Romeo all the way to the to the end as a as a goat, as a as a no vote yeah. uh, no vote uh, end game player. Yeah, I think that they're gonna they're gonna go safe. High is high is now really after him. Excuse me. Yeah. So yeah, so I think that that's gonna happen. He's gonna get his wish, and. Who knows if if High gets his wish for next episode, and getting Romeo out, that that might be the catalyst for him to start going back up. Right. That's true. If, yeah. he, if if he finally manages to pull to pull it off. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, moving is, on, uh, moving on. Who is your uh, castaway of the week? Yeah, toss up between Marianne and Andrea. Yeah. Yeah, same with me. Same with me. Marianne and Drea. They were really for me the the heart of this episode. The heart of this episode. Yeah, and I we we've said it, uh, we've said it at and during our highs and even a little bit during our lows. Yeah, they deserve to be like the people who were really highlighting this episode, I think. Who's your goat of the week? Uh the goat of the week. <sighs> Sorry, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how the mighty have fallen. He's your go to I, I can't give it to Tori because she did exactly the right thing. Yeah, she did the right thing. Speaking of, she speaking made of the, exactly the right play. Yeah, speaking of the the what are you, the shot in the dark dice. I actually came up with I I had an idea of how shot in the dark can possibly be. Uh, improved because they have this dice. It's a six-sided die, right? And then they drop it in the in the that thing, but we don't really see what comes out from that six-sided die because they take yeah. out a scroll, and then that scroll is well one that determines whether they're safe or not. I think in order to improve the shot in the dark, we should see the result. The result of whether they're safe or not should actually come from the die, like. I don't know. They come up with a mechanism. They drop their shot in the dark. It rolls all the way down to where Jeff is. And then Jeff opens it up, shows it to the players. That's when it, that's when it shows whether the person is safe or not safe. That gives each person, each person who plays, a one in six shot at getting, at becoming safe. Mm. Right? Doesn't, yeah. And then if, if, if Jeff wants to, if Jeff wants to go with a, 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 a 2 and 12, then give them a, a 1d12 die that they have to drop. And then two of those numbers say save. Right? Because it, it's just a token. It's basically a fire token that they drop. They pay to get a, to get a scroll. Right? Yeah. We don't really see. It doesn't, it doesn't function as anything outside of currency to get the scroll right now. <laughs> so it's sort of like uh it's sort of like how the hourglass isn't a very good metaphor. Or breaking yeah. an hourglass isn't a very good metaphor for what they're doing. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, so it, it would be cool if like you, you even hear the die like rattling down somewhere a mechanism and then it ends up right in front of Jeff. Right? And then but it's That'd covered. And then he'd open it, and then he'd, he'd, he'd have a way to pick it up. And then he opens it, and it shows whether that, that the face of the die says safe or not safe. Safe or not safe. Yeah, that'd be, really, that'd be really good. Yeah. Again, we're coming up with all of these ideas. Mark Burnett. You can have that one for free. Yeah. CBS. 
CBS, Mark Burnett, Jeff Probst. I hope that you're watching. <laughs> All right. Uh, for my goat of the week, for my goat of the week, uh, for me, you, you said Jonathan, for me, it's got to be Romeo. Um, uh, the first part, he didn't own up to his vote in the previous episode. Uh, he was denying to death that he was the one who typed down, who wrote down HYE for high. Uh, he, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and, I, and in a sense, this also reflects poorly on high, but I really don't see. Uh, I don't see any of the scenes that justify his sudden dislike for high. I don't know why he suddenly dislikes high. Uh, and, and to think that they had this bonding moment, they, they had this camp moment, right? Uh, and yeah. all of a sudden, one, two, two days, three days later, all of a sudden he's going after high. I, 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 I don't see, I don't see how that's justified. I mean, granted that a lot can happen in, in 48, 72 hours. Uh, but yeah, I, I really don't see how that that can be justified. Right? So yeah. yeah. Anyway, last one. Purple of the week. Who is your purple of the week? Uh, I don't think we really have one, do we? Oh, you know what? I don't have one either. <laughs> I do not have one. I, couldn't, I cannot, for the life of me, think of anyone who uh, was uh, who, 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 who was in obscurity. Yeah, because everyone really oh. had... They, yeah. So our Purple of the Week is the Purple of the Week segment. Yes. <laughs> you said it right. The Purple of the Week is the Purple of the Week segment. There you go. And so, I guess that's it. That is it for this episode of the Council of Titos. As we said throughout this council, this episode was very, very powerful. It only goes to show that Survivor really is a microcosm of today's American society as a whole. Now, as always, if you liked our video, hit the like button so we don't get voted off the channel. Also, please consider uh, hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon. So you'll get notified whenever we come up with new content on the Laru Laru Lang channel. This channel has other shows on it focused on sports and other similar things. Anyway, this has been Chief Bisdak Joel Parkon. Hey, and I'm Joe, coming from somewhere in very noisy Manila. <laughs> All right. We hope that you can join us on the council again next time. Until then, stay safe, everyone. Tatitos have spoken.